All right, crew, Adam here. Today we're gonna to take a look at Cyberpunk 2077 with the new RTX A6000 Ampere graphics card from NVIDIA. All right, first things first, I'm recording this on a 1080p monitor uh, and it doesn't do any justice to the resolution of this 5K by 2K monitor, which is actually what I'm playing in. I'm just recording everything through OBS on a smaller monitor because I can't publish 4K YouTube content anyway. All right, so here's what I like about the beginning. This is like right in the beginning of the game. Uh, you're walking out to get your car and you see this puddle on the ground. I think this is a pretty cool example. You'll see a lot of these examples throughout the game. We can see the red lights that are up here. We can see the reflections of the uh, sides of the buildings. We can see the computer screens out there, uh, like on, si on the side of the actual buildings. We can see those two here. Uh, and then those two up there, right? You can see the reflections. And that's all because of ray tracing. That's all because of those RT cores and, uh, and CUDA cores all working together to give you a stellar graphical image on the ground. So let's go ahead and play around with some of these settings and see what it does to my frames per second. All right, crew, so we're looking at uh, the live FPS information in Cyberpunk 2077 running 5K by 2K on an RTX A6000 on max settings, max RTX settings. Keep in mind this is being recorded and OBS Studio is being used. Um, this is putting a small drain on the system. And we see we get about 36 frames per second on average with something more intense. If we're just kind of walking around, we get about 40 frames a second, 30 frames a second. Now stick around for the, for the end of this video because I actually run through screenshots showing the frames per second while not using Camtasia recording software and while not using OBS Studio. Again, just using the GPU and the one game, and that's the only thing that's running on Windows, to see what the graphics options, or the graphics FPS options were like. Uh, obviously, given the, the, the maximum uh, amount there. Again, just giving you guys ideas about what FPS to expect. There, it dropped, dropped a little lower, 31 frames per second but with ray tracing completely on, everything looks fantastic. Again, 5K, 5K, 2K, 48 gigs of RAM, an absurd number of RT and CUDA cores. It's a beast of a machine. All right, so stick around right after this because we're gonna take a look at the frames per second while not recording and while not using OBS Studio. We're just gonna do some screenshots and then talk about it real quick and that'll finish us up. Now, I'm not trying to brag or anything. I don't have of the latest and greatest CPU or motherboard or a crazy amount of RAM. But what I do have is just the RTX A9000. So I just kind of wanted to show you guys this so, um, you know, you get an unbiased look at the totality of this uh, benchmark, I suppose. All right, this time checking out Cyberpunk while doing the recording on my camera and keeping everything uh, pretty much basic on my computer. The only things I'm, I'm running right now is essentially Windows, some antivirus software, and Cyberpunk in 8K with the RTX A6000. Uh, the previous test I did was with recording software running. And so I wanted to see what I'd actually get if I eliminated the recording software to be, or to get the most accurate results, right? So we're at max settings with ray tracing on Psycho. Everything that I have uh, an option to put on Psycho is on Psycho. The resolution is 5K by 2K. And my frames per second have increased by 10 frames a second when I'm not recording. So everything that I was doing in the recording with 5K by 2K, 8K, all the, all the settings, you know, with, with maxed out, right? Maxed out ray tracing, the improvement is more than 10 frames a second. All right, so this is the very last thing we're gonna jump into, uh, you know, testing the RTX A6000 and Cyberpunk 2077. Uh, again, you know, everything's on high, everything's on psycho. If it could be on psycho, it'll be on psycho. If everything's on, it'll be on. And this thing, this time, the only thing we're gonna do is change the um, DLLS from auto to ultra performance, okay? Then we're gonna give this a shot. This is the, this is the same section of the game we looked at just a second ago. Well. Take a look at the same clip here and see how it plays out. So again, this is at max settings with DLLS um, turned on. Uh, keep in mind I'm recording at the same time. 
So now we're seeing a steady 43%, 43 um, FPS. Remember this dropped to 35 earlier. It's sticking at 43, 44, 45. Let's go ahead and make our way over to this room. Again, repeat that same set of steps we did just before so we can get a good comparison. Looks like we're chilling at about 43, 44, 45 now. I'll post a screenshot right now actually showing the FPS while not recording and using OBS Studio. So you can see the improvement there. Earlier when I was checking this, I was getting 57. Solid improvement using DLLS. Missed it by that much. I think I'm gonna die. That's what I get for talking and gaming. <laughs> it's, it's where I don't belong. <laughs> All right, hopefully this was helpful. Hopefully you got a better idea about about what DLS is. And then, you know, if you have an RTX card, you should enable it, because I think it, it improves performance, generally speaking. Hey, this is Adam Hughes. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see some more great content, please subscribe. And if you'd like to see something specific, go ahead and put that in the comments. This video is what it is because someone commented, hey, it'd be great if you posted a video with the RTX A6000 in Cyberpunk 2077. And here we are. I can't thank you enough for watching this video, especially if you watched it all the way through. I greatly appreciate it. Thank you for supporting my YouTube channel. This is Adam Hughes. Bye on.